So this is just going to be a quick video showing my uh, Bluetooth OBD2 adapter that I designed. Uh, it's based on the STN1110 uh, chip that uh, Scantool.net uh, produces. You can see the adapter there, it's pretty small. Uh, inch and a half long. About five eighths of an inch wide, and then uh, about inch and a quarter tall. So it's pretty tiny. You can see the Bluetooth module on top. The STN chip is in the center right there, and then the driver board on the bottom, which has the OBD2 connector. Uh, so this works with Torque on Android devices. Uh, Scantool.net produces uh, a program called ScanXL for uh, Windows computers. It's a very good program. Uh, so I'll show you Torque in a minute. And all right, so now I'm inside my Explorer. Uh, you can see the OBD2 adapt or uh, port here. Get some light on there. Um, that's where the module plugs in. It's right under my my dash. That's almost directly below the steering wheel. You can see the brake pedal there. Um, so all that I have to do is take the module and plug it in the, the port and a bunch of the LEDs light up. You can't really see them because they're on the side but um, the one on top there that you see blinking now is the Bluetooth Connect LED. So right now it's in discovery mode <coughs> and it's just waiting for something to connect to it. So this is where uh, Torque comes in. And so now I have the ignition on. Um, Torque has connected to the adapter. You can see there's more uh, light activity up in there. Um, that's just all the communications going on. Uh, there's two LEDs for OBD2 TX and RX and two LEDs for the UART uh, TX and RX. Um, so, as you can see on the phone, uh, I try to see anything. Um, Torque is connected. Uh, this is Torque Pro, actually, it's the paid version. Um, as you can see on the top, there's profiles for different vehicles. This is uh, my Explorer. All the icons on the top there show the uh, connection state, so the GPS is locked. Uh, Bluetooth is active, the OBD2 adapter is found, and it's connected to the vehicle. Um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different uh, things that you can do with Torque. Uh, there's a help adapter status, which just reads uh, the adapter there and gives some basic information. Uh, error counts and whatnot. On some vehicles you'll see this multiple controllers thing go yes. Uh, on, on Chrysler vehicles particularly there's multiple uh, ECUs. I'm not sure how Torque determines which one to connect to. Uh, you can see your protocol here. Uh, since this is a Ford, it's a J1850 PWM. Uh, VIN not there. Um, that's basically what Torque can read off the adapter. Um, so go back and go to the home screen. You can do all sorts of graphing with uh, the different parameters. You can do this track recorder which uses your video camera in the phone to uh, essentially videotape where you're going with an overlay of a GPS and a map. Uh, I'm not on 3G, this is just Wi-Fi so I don't get the map or anything uh, when I'm driving. Um, you can read fault codes, which is probably the most important thing. Um, my check engine light is on, so we will see uh, fault codes. Just takes a little little while. So you can see uh, P0174 powertrain system too lean. Um, you'll hear in a minute <laughs> that my exhaust is pretty much detached from uh, the catalytic converters and there's hardly any exhaust getting to the oxygen sensors and the system thinks it's too lean. So going back, you can see all the real-time information. 
it won't be a whole lot since nothing's running. Um, you can see the coolant temperature is 140. I was just driving an hour or so ago. Um, the throttle position down there is at about 18%. Um, that's typically where it sits. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different gauges and whatnot that you can add to the screens. Um, this screen here shows the uh, basically your emissions check for a lot of the state's uh, inspections. So as long as you have it complete and all that, you can pass your state emissions inspection. There's just some GPS data there. Uh, so what I'll go ahead and do is start the Explorer up. It'll be a little rumbly, so bear with me there. But so you can see everything going up. There's the RPMs up top there. Mass airflow sensor is reading stuff. Uh, horsepower will read once you're moving, so then it can calculate the torque and the uh, horsepower. There's fuel trims, uh, engine load there, uh, intake temperature, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, some GPS stuff, and then there's the oxygen sensors. Uh, you can see the voltage of the vehicle is about 14 volts, which is normal for running. Uh, vacuum pressure, trip odometer. You can see the, the oxygen sensors uh, switching on and off. So some uh, exhaust is getting to them, but not a, not a whole lot. There's also some Ford specific uh, codes that torque has in it, so I can get the transmission fluid temperature at about 128, uh, and then the gear, so I can see exactly when uh, the engine is shifting gears, or the transmission is shifting gears when I'm driving. It's kind of interesting that I'm in fifth gear at about 45 or 40 miles an hour. But, so that's pretty much torque. This doesn't really show a whole lot of what it does because you need 3G for some of it, but um, for my purposes it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Uh, so that's about it.